Hello boys and girls, Mr. Fleming here. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a math circle. Maybe your teacher last year tried math circles out in your classroom and maybe not. Maybe you're not familiar with math circles. So this is how we do math circles in Mr. Fleming's room. First off, you're going to get a folder with your questions on them, okay? So your first step in your group is going to be, now I've already done this one, but for your group, you're going to take your question and your glue stick and glue that on your paper. After you've done that, you're going to write your name and then write the word tallies, okay? And I'll talk briefly about what you'll be doing with the tallies part, okay, if you're not sure. So before you get started with answering the question, you need to wait till everybody has um, wrote down their question, has glued down their question, wrote their name and their tallies. Don't begin until everybody else is ready, okay? So your first task is going to be to answer the question. First, read the question. You are definitely able to write on the question if you need to, using cubes if you'd like. Um, and then you're going to work out the problem. You're going to work it out with your eyes on your own side, okay? You're not going to look over to other people, okay? Um, because I want you to try to do it on your own first, okay? And then once everybody is finished, wait till everyone's done, then have your discussion. So the leader is going to lead the discussion. They're going to say something along the lines of, well, what do you notice? What did you wonder about? Well, I noticed that it said the word each. Mr. Fleming taught me that the word each meant to multiply. So that's why I chose to multiply. Or each also says divide. So Mr. Fleming taught me that each could mean division, so I divide it. Or maybe it said the word sum. What are some of your clue words that told you basically how you solved the problem? And then you're going to explain how you solved it. So I got this. First I, then I, last I, this proves my answer is and you're discussing it that way. You're not writing down those sentence starters. You're, discussion. you're having a discussion. Every time you speak, you're going to give yourself a tally. All right? And you want to try to speak at least three different times, all right, with your group. Now, what, there is also a recorder of your group. When everybody is having a discussion, if you are all in agreement on anything that's being discussed, that's what goes down into your middle box. So you're either working out the problem in your middle box, or maybe you're writing down the clue words that told you what to do. Anything that you all agreed upon goes into that middle box. And then you're all done. After you have completed your discussion, you wrote down your tallies, you completed the problem, you all agreed upon an answer and how to work it out. You're not just going to write the answer as, let's say, 14 in the box. No. What are some clue words that helped you do it? What is the work? Work it out together as your group again, okay? Um, or you can even use your sentence starters here if you'd like to write it down of how you did it, okay? If you have any questions, remember I am teaching a lesson right now. Um, so do your best to try to work together. Uh, to figure out how to do math circles if you've not done one before, okay? But your first step is going to be to glue down your question and write your name and then the word tallies, okay? This is Mr. Fleming. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye-bye.